from the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. This is my father. He likes to know what the market's doing, so he gets his uh, market report by air mail, as you can see. It comes in every day by air. Cattle are all worked and sold, and they're load weighed at daylight and loaded into trucks and shipped to a feedlot. Gales holds about eight or ten at a time. There's the buyer and my dad weighing the cattle. That's internal revenue service man there. When my dad gets the check to make sure if there's any money left over, they get it to the internal revenue service and then they waste it. And the truckers come in, the cattle are loaded on these trucks and shipped all over the west to the feedlots. California, Idaho, mostly from this country all over. Occasionally some of them will go clear into the Midwest. One of those men on the chute is a brand inspector. He checks every cow that goes up the chute, every animal, to make sure that it has your brand on it. It's kind of frowned on in these countries to sell your neighbor's cattle without telling him about it, so they uh, were brand inspected. A lot of Indian buckaroos in the country at that time, and a couple of those old fellas there, those old Indians there, pretty near remember back to the time when the white men and the Indians didn't get along. Days works over, the buckaroos turning their horses loose. There's Albert Skedaddle, the big old fella that I say he, his father, was one of the Indians that was here when the white people came here, and then there was uh, uh, his brother Oscar Skedaddle and uh, Donald Dave and. Uh, Alvin Horn. This has been a presentation of the Library of Congress. Visit us at loc.gov.